Hi, and welcome to our channel. We're the Nomadic Normans. I'm Tyler, a.k.a. Dad. I'm Kaylee, a.k.a. Mom. And I'm Colton, a.k.a. Smolt. I'm Cooper, a.k.a. Blue. And this is Callie, a.k.a. Tiny. We're a family of five converting our 2005 Thomas Freightliner into a tiny home to travel America. Come in and follow our journey. We started out by removing the seats out of our bus. We used a drill to remove the screws. Some of them were in there pretty tight. What are you doing? Just taking seats out. So we did a lot of rocking to get them loose. I've heard horror stories about rivets. The next day our goal was to remove the floor. Here you can see where we're using a razor knife to clean the dirt out of the screws. We didn't have a grinder and this dirt was causing the screws to strip out. So we just found it an easy way to make the screws come out more easily. We used a saw to find the edges of the plywood and we just cut right on it so we didn't have to peel up the rubber mat. And then we used the flat end of a pickaxe to pull that section of the flooring up. The way to remove these side panels was to take a grinder and cut them off right at the top as close to the edge as we could. We removed all the panels and all of the old insulation so that we could properly insulate our bus. We want to be able to be comfortable while we're staying in it temperature wise, whether it's in a hot environment or a cold environment. Removing the ceiling panels was probably my least favorite part of the demo process. There were so many screws. I hear that the rivets are way worse than the screws, so I can only imagine. 95% of our screws were stripped and wouldn't remove easily, so what we found was best to do was remove the screws that would come out and we had to grind the rest of them off. My arms were so tired and we did this over a period of a few days. Then we used some pry bar and made sure we had on some gloves and just pulled the panel down from the roof. So our goal for today is to get all the windows removed, the caulk removed, get them re-caulked and put back in. We started out by removing all the screws around the window. We did this so that we could remove the actual windows from the frame. After removing the screws, the window still did not come out. That's because you have to use a knife to break that caulk seam around the windows. the knife to break away the caulk in the inside of the bus and the outside of the bus. This helped the windows remove way easier. After removing the caulk and the screws with just a little wiggle, the windows just came right out.
magic. but sometimes we decide to act a little silly. After we got all the windows removed, we had to remove the old caulk from the window seals. This part wasn't too bad, just a little tedious and time consuming. You can see that I'm using a razor knife just to scrape away the old caulk from the window seals. Next thing we did after removing all the old caulk from the window, we used a sander. This way we could remove any remaining caulk, paint, etc. so that we could prime the window seals. Even the kids like helping working on the bus. We used the Rust-Oleum High Performance Enamel to prime the windows. After all the windows were removed, we recalked the window seals and inserted our windows back in. We used a water hose to check for leaks and make sure that our windows were sealed tightly. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed. Make sure you subscribe, like this video, and turn on notifications for more. Follow us on TikTok and Instagram. See you next time.